witches, goblins, and ghosts. Halloween is the one night of year adults and kids alike dress up as their favorite spooky character. The tradition isn't just about getting candy, but a ghostly world in our own backyard. NBC 26's Megan Lowry explains. Uh, lights turn on and off. They hear voices down here. It's a place you wouldn't expect to find a haunting. But in the basement of the Ashwabanon Bowling Alley, some say there's a paranormal world. Yeah, there's spirits all around us. Uh, a lot of people don't believe. Tim Fries runs ghost tours out of Green Bay. He says the bowling alley haunting is believed to be attached to items brought in from centuries before, like the bar, originally from a monastery in Missouri. They brought some of the spirits and energies with it. And they were having a wedding and a reception all in the basement here, and right when they get to the part of the ceremony where the bride was supposed to say, I do, all the lights went out. Fascination with the paranormal is nothing new. In fact, UW-Green Bay medieval historian Heidi Sherman says Halloween stems from an ancient Celtic festival to ward off ghosts. Costuming would be about tricking the malevolent spirits, like maybe this particular place is already occupied. Learning about the spirits left behind has become Fry's passion. He's researched hauntings all around Green Bay, including Captain's Walk Winery, an activity reported in other downtown buildings. Once you've had an experience, uh, you pretty much know that they're around you at all times. So as you grab your witch's hat or goblin's mask, take a look around you. Megan Lowry, NBC 26.